actually going to be super good uh, for for all the wolves that want to learn how to deal with this character in New York. Unknown is very, very solid. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him actually beat Ray, but Ray, a great player in his own right. So this match is going to be spicy, and I'm looking forward to commentating on it. Oh, 51% already. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you're going to see plenty of that. It's really the mid and late game that's super important for Palu in this matchup because she is going to get her early game combo. Wolf is fairly heavy in his own right. And Spaces mm. don't have the best of maneuverability when it comes to trying to get out of space. But uh, he's here and it's looking dangerous for him right off the bat. Look at how much damage is on both of these players so quickly. Yeah, now, now, one thing to note is the fact that Palutena's off stage can wreck Wolf. You can just charge up that that uh, her her up smash, and <laughs> him, him it has a very high chance of hitting him as he gets with the hit with the explosive flame. And right now, Ray is just capitalizing on unknown, just simply trying to get back to the stage. I feel like Ray is going to hold on to that up smash read at the uh, ledge because we're seeing that unknown is doing a lot of recovering like high from the ledge. Yeah, because he knows, he knows. Oh, unteckable. Hey, when it happens, but that's how First Blood's going to get broken in Utopian Ray's favor. And once again, start things off. Decent damage, but doesn't manage to get the uh, tech read. Yeah, you always want to DI Palutena's, uh, Palutena's Nair up and away just to minimize her chance of following up with that, as we see Unknown doing. All right, forward tilt, not going to take it just yet. Bam! <laughs> Ten damage. There you go. That was actually a great coverage, forcing Unknown to, to recover high and then just finishing him off with that tilt. One thing in particular I feel like Unknown could be doing a bit better of is trying to just force in the approach with Nair. Normally, I would say, like, when you're at a deficit like this, don't approach as hard. But one of the key faults of uh, Palutena is that she really doesn't like when characters are able to smother her with pressure. And Wolf is able to get away with that with his up air, his forward air, most importantly, his neutral air. Just constantly forcing hitboxes right on top of Ray. So you're forcing him to trade. But when you count blow for blow, when Palutena is not able to get a follow-up from her hits, Wolf is always winning those interactions. He's keeping the numbers game in his favor. 100%. She hates people to be in her face, as you said. And this is when Unknown's going to have to capitalize, right? Wolf has his kill confirm at this point would just pretty, me, pretty much be Nair to Flash. Uh, the percentage is kind of a skewed right now. Wow, that back throw. But at this point, if he gets hit with Nair, he can still uh, get the flash. I don't know if Unknown knows the percentages, but it's a very, very strict window. And he, he's, he's going to have to kind of look for that, or else he's going to have to read an up till. Okay, there you go. Up a decent enough option to read with, but I feel like Ray, Ray just knows how to survive with his character really well. He knows like the kind of situations where he can just force just a little bit more percentage out of a stock. Or if he's able to really stretch a stock's worth just so he can at least burn the timer a little bit more. I'm not saying for the sake of timer scan, but at least put just a little bit more pressure on the wolf. Force on to insert some more of his options. Great oh my pickup, god. Not get in the room. Alright, but you know this this is not this is this is really an okay position for Wolf because of how much damage he's able to put up. Great understanding this wants to extend this lead as fast and as far as possible before Utopia, uh, before Unknown actually starts to catch up. Absolutely. The thing is that, like, Ray has had all the momentum this match. Like, Unknown has been doing a great job at responding to Ray, but he he can't play an entire game of just reactions. He has to cause his own actions and force Ray to play a bit of his game, because right now, this is Utopian Ray's game. I actually think that uh, he, Unknown could have lived, uh, but I think he air dodged, and that kind of just, like, uh, put him towards the glass end. Yeah, knowing your timings with air dodging is super important because, especially with a character like Wolf, who has a fairly linear recovery, like, you have to be careful with those resources. Yeah. And moving yourself just a little bit yep. back with the air yeah, dodge. Now, one thing that I want to keep in mind is uh, Palutena's love to go for your jump read super high, right? Because the Alper will kill at a pretty pretty early percent uh, ups, uh, you know, in the air. And Ray hasn't caught that yet, but he's taking, he, I'm sure he's taking note mentally of how Unknown is dodging it, and he's waiting for that. I wouldn't be surprised to see him get a kill with that this game. Yeah, I feel like Unknown sort of played himself at the very beginning of this set because he's he's conditioned himself to recover high throughout this entire set. And mind you, Wolf has fine options coming down. The problem is, is that Palutena has so many options yep. for covering a linear or high recovery in her kit, whereas recovering from low, which, mind you, Wolf can't do that well, like, all Palutena can do is either down tilt at the ledge, or she has to go down there and do it herself. 
be it neutral air or down air. And that puts Palutena in a situation where she could potentially trade stock for stock with Wolf, depending on how that interaction goes, because sometimes you just get sent awry from Wolf's up B, and you don't know what to do. Yeah, no, and, and this is why, but Unknown also knows that the dangers of recovering low against Palutena, so he is trying to mix it up, which is a very, very good idea. Trying to down smash, not catching the two frame, 118%. This is this is an easy smash attack for Wolf. Back throw, unfortunately, may, may, may actually steal it, but it was a good idea. Ooh. Surprised he went for jab and not just forward tilt there, but nonetheless, I don't do a good job of taking more of the momentum in this game. That is actually a great option from Unknown because if he jumped, I'm pretty sure Utopian Ray was waiting for that jump just to catch him with the up tilt. Up tilt actually almost killing the man. Uh, back throw, not gonna do it just yet. Great mash out and forward. Yo, forward are almost killing off the top. This character's wild. And the th here's the thing. The Peloton is... Oh, well, there you go. I was going to say that they can both back through each other right now, but chances are, depending on where the stage is, Wolf will live... I mean, you know, sorry. Wolf will die, Peloton will, will live, because Wolf's back throw is actually not as strong as hers. All right, getting as much damage as she can right now. All he needs is a forward tilt. And great pressure on the ledge by Utopian uh, ah, Unknown. I keep on seeing the U, that's why. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was actually thinking to myself why he has that too. But nonetheless, he's got Palutena at 200. Most things are going to kill. Yeah, back throw, up tilt, forward tilt. Any smash attack. Yeah, but this is Palutena with max rage right now. And rage may not be as apparent in this game, but I assure you it's still a very real thing. So, finally getting himself the stock, but... I feel like Unknown just doesn't have any like wind beneath his wings right now. He's, I feel like he's forcing more interactions than we saw in game one, which is better for Wolf. But he's not picking the right options. Yeah, he has, it, especially against a character like Palutena, you kind of just need to kill her when you get the chance. And I'm not seeing, uh, you know, uh, fair, you know, fair to dare, fair to, uh, fair to, fair to flash is situational. But I'm not seeing a lot of these, you know, like wolf friends from uh, coming out from unknown, and you have to have these, especially against a player like Utopian Ray, who knows his percentages, who knows his kill confirms, who knows his bread and butters. This is a scary situation. It just seems like unknown is like lost in the matchup, because I feel like a lot of the options he's going for, he's doing a decent job of like playing the spacing game. Like, he's hitting with late in there, he's reaching as far as he can with fair, using blaster to force more interactions, which is good, but once it comes to actually getting the hit, he's only getting that one-off hit, and it's not the ones that count. He's just doing little hits of damage here and there, which, mind you, Wolf hits hard. I'm not gonna say he doesn't, but, like, that's not mattering as much if every time Utopian Ray is in control, he makes the interaction count so much more. Exactly, and that's the thing you have to master. You have to optimize the damage that you're getting. And one, you know, one or nine percent against the Palutena, like Ray, with with who's up a stock is the last situation that you want to be in. He needs to see the stock immediately. But Ray is doing such a good job of avoiding Wolf's kill moves. You know, that's the thing about playing a character like Wolf. You you that's have a hell of kill disrespectful. Power. You have what? a lot of kill power, but. Your kills setups are linear. You know, like, you know what he wants to do. And he... Get him out of there. That's a 2-0. All right. Great showing by Utopian Ray as this man kind of just... Not body, but, like, he just... It was a gentle out body. Outplayed. Yeah, he, he, like, it was a rub down.